Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and welcome to Houdini Engine to Unreal Engine Workflow. In this training, we're gonna be talking about how to make procedural assets to accelerate content creation for Unreal Engine using Houdini and the Houdini Engine. So, what the topic is going to cover is creating assets for Unreal Engine. Uh, managing Houdini shaders for Unreal Engine. Uh, we're gonna use a few of, of Unreal Engine shaders. Uh, we're gonna do procedural, procedural geometry and UVs. And uh, we're gonna use uh, Houdini instances. Uh, we're gonna see how to create Houdini instances. We are also, we also gonna see how to create Unreal instances. Uh, directly from our asset, just grabbing the assets uh, from Houdini, just bringing the asset and completely it's going to automatically grab those assets that are already in your project. Um, the other thing is going to be um, randomizing the instances. Um, so just not just declaring one instance of one object, but several instances and randomizing that. Uh, we're going to also see texturing from directly from Houdini. And we're also going to optimize um, assets uh, so we can uh, have them work better in Houdini and, and that creation time in Unreal Engine. Uh, during the creation of these, we figure out a, a bunch of workflow tips and we fix a bunch of bugs in the process. So let's jump into Houdini and see what we're going to actually do so you get a better idea of what uh, the process is going to be. All right. All right. So now in Houdini, we're gonna have this. So this is the actual scene. It makes makes up the asset. The asset is made of a few parts. You can see there's the fence asset here, which is the main uh, the main asset, which is uh, the base for all of these nodes actually. Then we have the barbed wire node, which creates the barbed wire here on the top and the um, uh, racer wire as well. Then we have the collision node, which creates all the collision uh, for the asset. You can see there's uh, the collision. You can see it there in uh, yellow. Uh, there is then a uh, trash uh, on fence asset. We create uh, some of that trash which is attached to the uh, fence. You can add more of that if you want, more different uh, different instances for that. Then we have an instance cloth node which create the nodes on the uh, corners. We can see that in, in, in real in a second. Then we had some wire supports which are those guys there. Uh, we're supporting the, the razor wire. Then we had some lamps uh, that we can see here as well because those are uh, added in, in Unreal Engine. But uh, it's, it's going to be really cool. If we go inside the fence asset, you can see there's inside the fence node. You can see this. there's not much stuff here. But uh, there's a few things that are actually modeling, like this is the post here. But the actual logic of this is going to be really simple and you're going to understand all of this by the time we're done. Let's go to Unreal Engine and see how the asset is actually, uh, uh, how the asset actually looks in the engine. So this is the asset here, you can see. Have a, a scene here prepared and we can, let's go play this. All right, so I'm playing now in Unreal Engine here. Uh, so let's go play. You can see there's the asset. There's those uh, clawed objects that I put on the uh, corners there. There's some uh, aluminium or just some, some junk pieces of metal. They're attached to the uh, to the fence there. You can see there's the razor wire. Everything is shaded. Uh, there's razor wire there and um, the chain link. It's already there. See there's... Uh, there's those lamps on the corners that we with the spotlights we have fog there it's pretty cool and I think I have an exit here over here you can see I can collide with this there's collision I can walk through it but I can go out of here and in which is pretty cool it's just ready to be put on a on a level so you can see there's a huge level here that I made, just prepare this. And there's here, you can see all the controls for this asset over here. Uh, so this is all the uh, parameters for the asset that I expose. And you can see there's three sections, the general section, the barbed wire, barb wire section, and the prototype section, which only contains one uh, color swatch for con controlling the uh, color of the uh, 
the prototype uh, mesh there like that so let's, let's switch actually to the prototype here because I'm controlling the mesh here with all the uh, bells and whistles we added it's it's a little bit heavy for the Houdini engine so you can see now we have this prototype which is just the base curve uh, with some uh, extrusion and stuff but we can change whatever stuff here we can change the height if we want this to be three meters height you can make it that if we want to uh, make the post separation which is the post here um, higher you can change that here uh, if we want to make this to, instead of being just perfectly like new we can add a little bit of noise to this let's put 0.5 and you can see now it's gonna be like uh, more old dented kind of a feel to the fence there um, you can change the seed of the noise as well you can change the um, the radius of the corner pose etc here there's a few things that are disabled because we are in a prototype mode uh, the distance of the lamps uh, the amount of, of these guys here those uh, pieces that are attached uh, in the barbed wire you can change the revolutions how many coils there you can see of uh, razor wire the radius of it uh, there's a lot of uh, of parameters you can actually uh, control here and uh, so let's just uh, also you can of course control uh, the shape general shape of this so if you control click on one of these uh, point, you know, points of the curve here you can just modify this really quickly you can see how easy it will be to make this use it on a level we can add some points here just just works exactly as a, a any unreal engine curve uh, if you press alt and drag on that point you will be adding more points you can see this will be really quickly uh, this will help you to make uh, n n uh, levels really quickly like this so let's say that I don't want this no those parts you can just actually select them and delete them as any uh, Unreal Engine curve it will work just the same so let's just put it like this align it a little bit there and then just uh, let's just switch this to final and see what we get just takes a few seconds to switch uh, to final because it needs to create geometry it needs to um, build the scene Houdini and then bring it back it takes like five or six seconds it doesn't take that much but you can see now we have all that stuff is done all those uh, assets here in the corners are instanced correctly uh, there we have uh, those pieces of uh, roof there on uh, attached to the wire you can see now the the uh fence is not uh straight now it's bent bent and stuff like that you can see it's bent here uh which is pretty cool this post is a little bit bent as well etc we can change you can see if we have uh too few coils here which would happen when you extend this we can change more to give it give it more coils there let's try 400 and it's getting update in second chance. It's gonna update really quickly here. So there you go. You can have more coils there, so it looks better. Uh, the texture. Um, something happened to the texture here. Let's just reload it again. Control Alt uh, R will reload your asset, which we're gonna use a lot to rebuilding the assets. Uh, our asset while we're making it so just get used to that shortcut once this stuff is just done uh, you can just jump right away to the level and you can play it and you can see this is the modifications we made are here and it's pretty cool we're gonna learn about of uh, how different kind of instances you can add because these ones are like blueprint instances and you can see that you can actually select select these ones and modify them like if you don't like the orientation of this, I wanted this one to be in this direction, you can do that. It's not like it's going to be fixed. Uh, so this one, maybe I wanted this one or I, I don't want that one. Maybe you can just delete it. Uh, same thing for these guys here in the corners. Like, all right, there, there's too much of them here, let's say. 
uh, let's say well, I don't want this one in the corner, we can just delete it or uh, move it or control it, whatever. Uh, by default, it's just being added by, by Houdini. You can scale them maybe, I think it's too big, maybe make it a little bit smaller. So yeah, you can control. So you're not you're not uh, just married to the way the asset's gonna be. If you make it a uh, if you make it instance of blueprints from your project, you can see that you can actually go ahead and modify them and build on top of it. Um, all right, so I think that's gonna be it for this intro, and I hope you're ex excited as I am. And let's start building this stuff. It's gonna be really fun. All right, guys. Hope you are excited about this. I I literally love this project. It's something that I've been trying to do for a while, and people have been asking me for a while how to do this, how to do that. So all of that stuff is gonna be here. There's a lot of knowledge here. You can see there. There's a lot of things to do. Uh, it is simple, but you can just do a lot of stuff with the power of Houdini uh, plus the Houdini engine and Unreal Engine. Just, just a killer combination. All right, guys, so I hope you're excited as, as I am, and let's get started with this. Thank you.